Welcome to IB. So hi, hello, welcome back in my channel. So for today, we are going to talk about applying percentage in Greece or decrease in real life situations. This is under general math in grade 11, and of course it is under the senior high school new curriculum. So for today's objective, we are going to determine the impact of inflation on costs and wages over time. But first thing first, why do we need to study percentage increase or decrease or why this matters? As we all know, or as we notice, from shopping to running a business, percentage changes are everywhere. You can see it in the mall, in the companies as well, in the advertisement and so on and so forth. What is inflation? So when we say inflation, it is a general rise in prices over time. And it is measured as a percent increase per year. Again, per year. At this point in time, many countries, or almost all countries, are experiencing inflation. The formula for the inflation is all price times the sum of one plus the given inflation rate a year. For example, we have all price 1,000 pesos, inflation rate is 6% inflation. So for us to get the new price, all price 1,000. times 1 plus 0 0.06 because the rate or the inflation rate is 6%. So it is equal to 1,000 times 1.06 and what's the answer? We will get 1060. Yeah. There you go. Next, another example. Item cost last year is 2,500 pesos. And the inflation rate is 8%. Again, the formula, getting the new price in accordance with the inflation is old price. Times 1 plus inflation rate. Two thousand five hundred times one plus zero point zero eight. Let's review. To convert eight percent to decimal, you will have it as zero point zero eight. That's why I I put zero point zero eight here. So we have here two thousand five hundred times for us to get the new price. 1.08. So 5 times 1.08 is equal to 2,700. All right. It's just easy, right? Now your turn. Do this in... Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds, rather. Your timer starts now. Oh. 
Okay, time's up. So we are going to solve this. So here, the problem is wage in 2020, 15,000 pesos. And of course, the inflation for 2021 to 2024 is 5% per year. So let's have a shortcut first. So since it happens for four years, right? 2021 to 2024. So meaning it is four years. We need to calculate the inflation or the new wage from four years, from 2021 to 2024. So again, in 2020, the wage is 15 thousand and the inflation rate per year is 0 0.05 so you need to add plus 0 0.05 and it says here that you need to calculate for four years surveys of the power of four yeah, sure. So 15,000 times 1.05 raised to 4. So the answer is 18,232.59 pesos. Okay. Now let's try now let's have a summary of the formula that we used in the first lesson. So in getting the new price in accordance with the inflation, we need to multiply the old price by the sum of 1 plus the given inflation rate a year. Now let's put what we have learned into a, the word problem or into a real life situation. Let's read the problem first. A salmon cost 12,000 pesos last year. Due to inflation, its price increased by 6.5% this year. What is the new price of the cell phone? Let's write all the given first. Given. Old price is equal to 12,000 pesos. Inflation rate, let's say IR, is equal to 6.5%. And the thing that we need to look for is the new price. So the formula in getting the new price is new old price times 1 plus inflation rate. All right, so let's have the solution. Solution. New price is equal to 12,000 pesos times 1 plus the inflation rate. Let's convert it into decimal. Zero point zero sixty five so it will become zero point zero sixty five so twelve thousand times one plus zero point one point zero sixty five so the answer is The answer is 
the new price of the cell phone being purchased last year due to inflation will be twelve thousand seven hundred eighty. Okay, now it's your turn. I will give you twenty five seconds to do it. Your timer starts now. All right, your time is up, so we need to check your answers. Given. We have the old price, which is 1,200. And of course, the inflation rate, which is Six percent, and then our task is to get the new price. So the formula in getting the new price is old price times the sum of one and inflation rate. So let's proceed with the solution. Let's see if you got it correctly. One thousand two hundred pesos times one plus zero point zero six. Why zero point zero six? Because we convert the six percent into a decimal, which is zero point zero six. Okay, so. 1,200 times 1.06. And what is the answer? The answer or the new price of the bag of rice is 1,272. So the answer is. 1,272 pesos. Okay, goodbye. And do not forget to like and subscribe for more business math lessons or general math lessons. Comment your score from the quiz below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Goodbye. See you in our next lesson.